Well, Hyundai is another car company in the news today. Its vehicles are becoming more popular here in the United States. A new survey published by Interbrand shows Hyundai's brand value ranking rising the most among auto companies, up 9% to more than $5 billion. Hyundai America CEO John Kraftcheck joining us right now here on Street Smart. John, great to have you with us. Why do you think your brand is becoming more valuable? Well, I'll tell you, Carol, it's been something we've been working on for a long time. If you look at our history at Hyundai, and we've been in the U.S. now for 25 years, we've had a pretty solid history of marketing innovation. And I'd say it really started with America's Best Warranty about 10 years ago, which was a marketing program that demonstrated how strong our engineering and durability and quality was. Um, in this industry, for sure, you've got to have great products, and we've had that. Uh, but we've also had this spirit of, of continuous innovation, this idea that Hyundai, this little brand called Hyundai, is the smart challenger of conventional thinking, that, that we can set the standard in a lot of things in the industry. And I think Americans are really kind of feeling good about that, and they're coming to the brand now in, in record fashion. You know, I could talk about, John, marketing all day, because that's really our bread and butter here, talking about what money does. But at the end of the day, for Hyundai, a lot of people will say it's about the product. It's about the fact that you can buy a high-end uh, car with luxury features, uh, a real competitor to the very expensive products for much less less money. I mean, how much do you have to sell and how much does the, uh, the Prada do it for you? Well, I tell you, and it's a great point, and it's a wonderful thing. We look at a lot of brand metrics at the company, as you might guess, and, and one of the more amazing ones is our value, as perceived by American car buyers, has never been higher. Um, typically, we fought with Honda and Toyota for the American consumer's point of view on which is the highest value brand, right? American consumers are pretty smart. They know it's not just the price, but it's also the quality and the warranty and other aspects of the car. Um, so right now, our pricing actually in the U.S. market has never been higher. Um, at the same time that our value story has never been better, our, our perceived value has never been better. And, and we're doing that because we're delivering now on design. Um, we've got the industry's best fuel economy. We've got new cars like this new Sonata, um, which has been a real game changer for us in the midsize car segment. Third best selling midsize car at retail the last several months behind mm -hmm. only Camry and Accord. It's doing so well for us. Hey, John, you know, no doubt about it that your your image or your brand image, I should say, has definitely improved. But let me ask you, how can you guys persuade uh, a badge conscious luxury car buyer to spend so much on a, a Hyundai model? And I'm thinking about and forgive me, I'm going to mispronounce it, but the 60,000 is it Equus? Yeah, Equus. You've, you've got it right, Carol. Well, you know, obviously we, we've thought a lot about that. And, and we had the same kind of thought process when we launched the Genesis a couple of years ago. Um, Genesis has gone on to be a, a really great success for us. It's a car whose average sticker price is $40,000. And, and when we launched this thing a couple of years ago, we asked, journalists asked, you guys asked, how in the world can Hyundai sell a $40,000 car? But you know what? It won Car of the Year, and the sales have been fantastic. It's got a market share. In its segment that's better than our brand average. And that kind of gave us permission to go ahead and give it a try with Equus, which is our, our flagship and which will cost, as you say, close to $60,000. Well, We're going to start a little bit below that. Hey, I got to ask you though, what's, what's your expectations? What are your sales volume goals for this one? I'll tell you, for, for that car, our expectations are very, very modest. Um, we recognize that's a tough segment. Um, we're going in with a two to 3,000 unit a year uh, sales objective, which would give us a 6 to 7% share of that pretty exclusive segment. Uh, we're about a 5% uh, market share company right now, so it's, it's right. a little bit more than our fair share of that segment, but it's something we think we can do. John, just uh, 10 seconds. September, how's it looking for car sales? Very quickly. I tell you, um, honestly, it looks fantastic for us. We're going to have an all-time record September. Um, the industry looks decent. I okay. wouldn't say great, but I think we're going to be fine. That was quick and that was great. John, thank you so much. We appreciate it. John Kraftcheck there, CEO of Hyundai.